Quentin Grimes was openly frustrated with his role just now, said it's tough to find a rhythm when he really touches the ball, stands in the corner and gets subbed out after missing one shot. You know, look, everybody's frustrated when they don't get the ball. It was Mitch, it was Hart saying he doesn't feel involved, Grimes. Yeah, quickly last year. Quickly. Uh, It's hollow for me, bro. It's hollow for me, man. I get it. I get the frustration. Get him the rock. But what are you going to do with the rock when you get it, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, what are you going to do with the rock? Even when he's getting his chances, he's bricking. Not getting to the free throw line. Getting caught up in between decision making, playing hurried, playing rushed. I get it. He's, he's maybe he's a rhythm guy. I get it. It's a chicken and an egg thing, CP. To me, it's yeah. like he he needs to take initiative and go create his own. Just like how Hart was frustrated, and then Hart just takes, you know, grabs the bull by the horns and go creates his own shots. At the same time, this is where like if you're Tibbs, figure out how to get your other guys involved. Like, like this. Like, I, I get, Tibbs I get to the whole... I mean, what do you expect Tibbs to do? We get, we, we're getting smoked out here. It's, I'm not talking they, about tonight. They still hitting I'm threes not... from downtown. No, but he's, he's saying, Bondy's saying that he got tight after he got tonight? some got missing one shot. For tonight? Yeah. You going to blame the coach? Tonight. I don't care about tonight. I'm just talking about in general. For tonight... <sighs> He didn't do anything. Listen, man. Every time he touched the ball, you you tried to pass, you passed it, and I get it. Like you've given them no to reason to even give you the to ball, whatever, to be in that offense. You've given them no reason to give you the ball. That's just a fact. And I'm Grimes high, but come on, man. And I get it. Listen, the kid's frustrated. He's chasing Dame down all damn day, forty eight minutes, and not getting the ball. He's doing cardio at that. I get it. I I totally understand his frustration. But there's two sides to the whole thing. And if you're not giving him any reason to get you the rock, you might get overlooked. They got no problem getting Dante the rock, right? When, when, I mean, Dante, when, when Dante's he's open, they're looking the for rock. him. He's gonna, he was going to put a shot up, for sure. I'm grind side, man, but like I, I can't, you know, I I see both sides. players different, though, CP, and this is where I, like, I get it. I totally get it. It's on for a coach to say, yo, like he said for Hart, you touch, you get, you get the rock, go make your opportunity. Tibbs ain't. This is where I say Tibbs is not an offensive, creative guy. Where it's like you go watch Mike Brown, you go watch Kerr, you go watch anybody else. They'll get their fourth, fifth, and sixth guy the rock and go get some shots up for them, so that way they can stay involved and they'll call their number. That's not going to happen here. And for Grimes, I, as much as I can ask for Tibbs to do that, I do agree with you. Where where Grimes gets it, he's got to he's got to make 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 the most of his opportunity. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like I also got to look at the coach. Like you're running this team. If you're if your players openly frustrated, you got to figure something out too. You're you're the guy managing the egos, managing the minutes, this managing true. the play calling. You got to do something too, man. Like guys are guys are openly frustrated. And look, I, I look at the front office too for this because you knew as soon as you went to go get Dante Divincenzo, you knew that the front you knew this guard rotation is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. And this is and, – and Grimes is now in a situation where he's like, look, last season I did everything you asked of me. You asked me to go play defense, I played defense. I took on the toughest assignment every single night. You asked me to come back, be a 3 and D guy, I did that. On nights, you could rely on me. I can remember the Chicago game when he's knocking down threes. I can remember other games where he's just getting involved. He's cutting, finding big men, doing all that stuff. And you're like, oh, after a good season like that, after all the work I put in, maybe I get rewarded with more minutes the following season. No. You go trade for Josh Hart. Now you're bringing Dante DiVincenzo. If I'm Grimes, I'm like, yo, what do you want me to do? Like, what do you want me to yeah. do at some point? And like, when you do all these moves, how do you want me to succeed? <laughs> I get it. I, 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 I totally get it, man. I totally get it. But I... It, 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 it's hard for me to just be outright, you know, upset for him. Because, like I said, you, like, you're you not giving him any reasons here, man. Here's the thing mm-hmm. at the end of the day. Tibbs runs a read and react, as we all know. Mm-hmm. Dante 
excellent in that. You mm-hmm. just see it. Okay, I get it 1,000%. 1,000%. But you still have a guy that you drafted that you have to develop and you have to invest in. Mm-hmm. And now you can either say you're going to put this guy on the Brent bench and you see that he's openly frustrated. I mean, now that he's openly frustrated, you're mm-hmm. going to put him on the bench be like, you know what? You're not doing what you're going to do. You go to the bench right now and you'll figure it out. Oh, sure. That's great for your, for your guys' confidence. That's a yeah. great way to handle it. Yeah. Now, now you want to go break the kid's confidence. Awesome. And then when and then when you and then when someone says, "Hey, we're going to trade for Grimes," all right, CP's favorite trade: trade for Demar Derozan, send Grimes and Evan Fournier out there to bring in uh, Debo. You know. And then when yeah, the, when the, when, the, when the Bulls are like, "Oh yeah, great, we got a nice young Dino. prospect that we got on, on on the low." Yeah. Yeah. That, no thanks. No thanks. Here is Tibbs on the Grimes situation. Here's Tibbs. Here's what he got to say. Here we go. I look at how the unit is functioned, you know, and so I would say tonight we didn't play well, and what and it wasn't to, to put it on, you know, Quentin's not fair. You know, I don't, I don't think we ha- really had anyone who played really well, you know, so we're capable of a lot better. Um, you know, you win together, you lose together. Uh, just focus on the improvement and get re- getting ready for the next game. Okay. So there it is. He's, Tips is telling everyone it's okay. We ride oh, together, we die together, bad boys for life. <laughs> I was waiting for that part. I think that I think we just missed that part. That's what he's about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, CP, we ride together. We ride together. <laughs> Look, as a starting five, as a collective, they've been fine. You know, as Sib said, I look at see how they're performing as a unit, meaning he's not going to make that change right now. But as you said, maybe there's ways that he could look and see, hey, are we not getting this guy the ball? Should we be getting him some more touches? And uh, it's, a, it's, it's a little bit on everybody. It's on Tibbs. It's on Grimes to be more assertive. It's on Julius and Jalen and RJ, the playmakers, to find him. I think so a little bit on everybody. Not an easy situation, CP. Not an easy situation. And, and, and look, we dissected this thing so many times. Yeah. As soon yeah. as you got yeah. Dante DiVincenzo, that guard rotation. Changed. It changed dramatically. And so now that you have to figure out hey is Dante on tonight and he wasn't on tonight yep. but if he's on then he's going to get the minutes if Grimes is on he's going to get the minutes if you got Absolutely. Josh Hart cooking you're like oh wait yeah and we leave Randall out there and we're just going <clears> to <throat> shuffle everything else around right yeah so let's hey this is it's, it's tough gut check time. Tough. Chauncey on the discord Chauncey let's go yeah I, I just want to talk about uh the whole Grimes thing mm-hmm. I mean it's really been, it's really just been tough to watch because I know how good he is. I mean, he he shows it on different playing fields. Like, mm-hmm. uh, what was it last year? He went off in the rise. Uh, what was it? The rising, rising stars. stars. Yeah, yeah. And and then even in this year in preseason, it looks like because you know most of the starters weren't really playing. He looked comfortable out there, and he was just he, he was playing freely. And it's it's just like he's playing hot potato every time he gets the ball now. And yeah. I don't know. It's it's. I I want to see him do more. I I feel like there's no reason why he should not be averaging thirteen, fourteen, fifteen a game. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, he doesn't help himself because he he looks scared when he has the ball in his hands. His confidence just, is shot. It's shot. He has no rhythm. He's frustrated. They're losing. He's he's overworking himself. Not getting involved in all. His confidence is all over. He's, he's shot, man. Yeah, totally. It's shot because he's he's guarding the best player every night. If, yeah. If, if he's not getting looks on the offense, it's it's it, it's kind of like his all his you know dirty work is going unappreciated. Like yeah. you're not going to reward him for doing all the dirty work. And yeah. it's kind of just you know t- I feel like Tibbs needs to have plays drawn up for this guy. I mean, the, the we've seen some of the shots he makes. There's very very quick release, very tight window. It looks like, yeah. and he used, to, and he used to be a point guard. So I don't, I don't see well, why he should handle the ball a little bit more, get more involved in the offense. I mean, well, second, second so unit. Maybe, maybe it makes sense, man. Maybe it makes sense to give him a change of scenery with the second unit. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking about that, but then I also was thinking, 
the few games, I think it was one or two games when Grimes was out and DiVincenzo was in the starting lineup. I mean, DiVincenzo didn't look like he was getting a lack of touches. Like he was, he was getting his shots up. He was making them, and it, it looked like he just gelled better. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You definitely right, man. Appreciate the call, bro. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe it's the move. Maybe he needs to move to the bench. <laughs> 